Welcome everyone. Before I discuss Yoda Vava, I want to discuss Reservoir Fundamentals, you know, just uh, go do an outline of ancient reservoirs of Sri Lanka. So as Mahavansa says, when King Vijay came, there were, there were ponds, naturally occurring ponds. And uh, these ponds were used for agriculture and uh, other uses, drinking, bathing, etc. So naturally occurring ponds or lakes, are, you know, in every country, you know, there's a depression um, in the ground and then the water, rainwater would fall and you have a lake. Some lakes are big, uh, big as countries, like the Great Lakes of USA. So these lakes were everywhere and um, um, you could use this water. And um, then a concept was born, an idea, a concept. Um, what is the idea? This is the idea. This is the idea. This idea was somebody. We don't know who that was. Somebody in Sri Lanka or probably in other countries too decided, thought, well, what would happen if we build something like this? Build an embankment, then you get more water, storage. It's an idea, it's a concept. And it worked. And later you would see this little idea was expanded into building very, very complex structures and systems, hydrology and flow, uh, flow mechanisms, all these, you know, strength of structures, uh, pressure, speed, velocity of water, all these were incorporated. But it all started with this little idea. Now, in the world, um, you could see this happening in other countries too. In India, we know that they were very fond of um, horoscopes. Everything they did as per horoscopes. So the astronomers had a lot of pressure to find exact movement of planets. And doing so, Aryabhata, Brahma, Gupta, all these mathematicians developed algebra. Similarly, in Europe, the concept, there was a concept to that they thought that gold and silver can be made out of iron and this was a wrong concept but they worked on it and the chemistry that we have today started with that wrong concept. So when people, group of people work on an idea for a long time in the case of reservoirs, thousands of years, very complex system was born. So first they built this dam or the well bamma in Sinhalese or embankment is the correct English word, technical word. Some say dam, some say burn, etc. So this is a picture of a burn. And as you could see, this was a natural water body. And then they built this built this um, embankment or the dam, you know, loosely speaking dam, but if you want to be technically correct, it would be embankment. So you have more water stored now. And um, here's another picture of a bund. And this is a huge dam, a huge reservoir. I don't know which reservoir this is, but normally these roads are like 30 feet wide. So you could see the base is like 200 feet, you know, even more than 200 feet. So this, this is a huge embankment, uh, probably Giritale or something like that. I don't know exactly where this photo came from. So these are, this is the dams. And so first we had the um, naturally occurring lakes and then they build these dams. The third stage was they need a way to take water out of these systems, out of this reservoir. And they built a sluice gate, something like that. So this water would come and go to a canal. So that was the next step. And there was a problem with this. The problem is, this is another sluice gate. This cobra indicates anybody who damages this would be punished. That's what it means. And this is another sluice. But Sluis has had a problem. The problem is when you have a high water column, the Sluis gate just blew it away. And because they didn't have concrete at that time, 
and whatever the cement and stone could not hold this water pressure. So they had to come up with an idea and that's called Bisoko tour. So they built something like this, a structure. So the water, there are gates here. So water level in the Bisoko tour can be controlled. So the pressure that going out would be lower. And you know, so there are these gates, the water coming in, you could lower these gates, uh, lift it and control the water pressure. So that was the next step. And this is Urusitawawa Bisoko tour. And the whole Bisoko tour is not seen today, only part of it. And these tunnels that take water in and out of Bisoko tour. And then you need a spill. You know, you need to spill out. Because if you spill from the soil, from the bund, it's going to fail. So they had a rock structure known as Pitawana or spillway today known as and the water would spill out and it would be lower than the embankment for obvious reasons. And here you could see a reservoir and then the reservoir bund or Vaubama. And then here you see the spill made of rock. So this could spill out. And this is a spillway of a big reservoir. And this is the Kalawawa spill. This is concrete. Original spill was made of rock. And this is Kalawawa spilling. And then the next step was cascade system. So the water come, comes to a reservoir. And they thought, why this waste spill water goes go waste? Why don't we make more reservoirs, more reservoirs? So they created this uh, cascade system. And that's the next step. And then during dry period, still there's no water, you know, there's no rain. Then the idea came, these rivers, these permanent rivers like Maaveli Ganga, Abanganga, Kadamba Nadi, um, today we call Malvatuya, uh, Kalawaya, um, all these rivers, they don't dry out. So they said, why don't we build an anikat, Gallamuna, and build a canal, you know, longest canal built at that time is Alisara of Mahavansa, which is today known as Alahara Canal, started by King Vasaba and gradually developed and built to, um, expanded by King Masin. So these canals were made, and these canals, and these Gallamuna or Anikat were made, and they, they, they cross roads and they cross other streams. So there was technology here. You know, they, they, got, they got to do these things. How to cross a stream, you have to build uh, various structures. And they did that and then feed the reservoir. So eventually it gave rise to a very complex system. Now here in this case, this is the Alahara Canal. So they, they had a Digamandula Anikat in Abanganga. The water comes along and there are sluice gates in the canal and water goes to various reservoirs and then these large reservoirs, you know, Mineri, etc. and then goes through to other small reservoirs. And a very complex system was developed and all that from one simple idea that is save water and use it, utilize it. And next, next part we will discuss Yodavava specifically Thanks for listening and I hope you will join me.